Greetings, Fright Nights and Monster Girls. I'm Count Jacula. And I'm the Horror Guru. And we just saw ha Hagen, Hagen Zuzu. Haga Zuzu. I don't know how to pronounce it, and I sincerely apologize for that. But is an old German word word that means witch. <laughs> yeah, um, this is a uh, movie that is currently on Shutter. Yep, um, it's Dutch, I think. Yeah, it's it's Dutch. Deutsch, I I don't know, man. You it's, know. For, it's Dutch. It's German. It's Deutschland. I don't know. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a movie set where there's like a lot of mountains. It's and like snow. the Middle Ages and shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's snow. And the basic rundown of this movie is it is about a person who may or may not be a witch. Yeah. And it's very much a companion piece to The Witch. It's very similar. Uh, it's got a similar tone, a similar score, too. Yeah, similar tone, similar score. And it, it is slower, though. Yes, which is saying a lot, because The Witch is a pretty slow movie in its own right. But this one does take a while to get going, which is probably my first criticism and my first warning, is that yeah. it is slow. It's a slow movie. <laughs> it it un, Under, like, I don't know, would you say it's as slow as Valhalla Rising? I think Valhalla Rising might even be slower. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. But the the thing that this has that Valhalla Rising has less of is that it's a lot easier to track what's supposed to be going on here. Yes, yeah, <laughs> yeah, because there's a bit more, It the story's a bit more contained and it doesn't mm -hmm. really rely too much on you having, like, knowledge of Norse mythology or anything like that. It, it pretty much, if you have an idea of what a witch is, that's good enough. That's good enough to go into this movie with. Something that does separate it from The Witch, though, is that The Witch is very clear that supernatural shit is happening after a certain point. Oh, Whereas yeah. This yeah, the movie... minute Black Phillip talks. Yeah. yeah. Whereas this movie leaves it a lot vaguer as to whether or not this person is experiencing supernatural things or if she is just crazy. Yeah, and um... that was very obviously the track that this director and storyteller took with this idea and according to the director there actually is an answer but we'll get to that when we get to the spoilers <laughs> yeah 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 we'll get to the spoilers <laughs> but it's a good it's a good this is much like how the witch was a uh, new england fairy tale mm -hmm. this is an a middle age european yep take very german the witch <laughs> very germanic very yeah. you know very germanic mm -hmm. um Overall, I really liked it. I liked I, it a lot, yeah. yeah I, I give it thumbs up. Like, I wouldn't watch it if you're even remotely tired. You need to be- Oh no, you're just fall asleep. <laughs> you, yeah. need, you need to be relatively awake and you also need to be in the mood. Like, if you've seen The Witch, you know what kind of mood you need to be in. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, you wanna, you wanna pop, <laughs> you wanna pop an Adderall and have a fucking Red Bull and then watch the movie. Um, you're you not know? gonna have the same problem that a lot of people have with The Witch, where like, kind of like the, the ye old language was like hard to decipher because this is a, in, uh, it's in a foreign language. It's in a foreign yeah. language. She she'd probably watch it with subtitles. And on top of that, there's actually not much dialogue. Yeah, it's a very dialogue light movie. Like most of this movie is this girl alone in her cabin, and the small experiences she has with people outside of her cabin um, are very quiet. Like there's a lot of like visual storytelling more so than dialogue driven stuff. Yeah. Yeah, very very much so. And while it is slow. When it does get going, it does get really fucking gnarly. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It gets really graphic. Be prepared for that. <laughs> yeah. Um, there is a lot of the exploration. There is a bit of the exploration of witchcraft and its relationship to the psychedelic experience. Yes. Because at one point she she eats a mushroom. She does. She does. She you has know? a mushroom at one point and just has this really high psychedelic experience. What's interesting is unlike a lot of movies which would put you in their eyes, we're more like observers watching her experience her high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they do do like weird lighting and like yeah, yeah. effects, you know, when we do, when the movie does show us what she is seeing, but we're we are definitely a bit removed. Mm -hmm. You know, we're supposed to, we are meant to be observing her and only seeing what she sees in so much as it helps us understand the observation. Yeah, and also like 
there are certain moments where we need to see what she sees to understand why she's doing what she's doing. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> that's a that's a better way of putting it. Yeah. You know, <clears throat> um, so, you know, I, I see no reason to dawdle because the yeah. other thing about it is there's a, how to put it, uh, not a lot of, not a lot of plot. It's no. very simple. <laughs> It's you know? very atmospheric. It, it, at times, it kind of reminded me of like a black metal song because, like, even it the does. score has yes. like this kind of droning guitar, and it's all in the snow, and its text is like an old Germanic. Yeah, <laughs> so... yeah, yeah. Because it's it's separated into chapters. <laughs> yeah, you know, um, which I think are what is it? Ash, blood, fire, something like and that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, 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 and shadow. It's. It's it's really it's really cool, but they have like the old Norse runes, yep. as well as the actual modern language, and then of course like down here in English because yep. we're <laughs> we're watching it with subtitles. Yeah, because we're watching it with subtitles. We're like, oh, that's what that means. Okay, cool. Um, I thought it was really good. If you want a really good um, look into what dealing with witches might have really looked like from uh, the skeptical from like you know the uh, the person in that period of time's perspective it's a really good movie absolutely and if you want to watch it, it is currently available on shutter streaming it is one of their uh they bought it it's one of their exclu exclusives yep i highly recommend it yeah i'm liking a lot of the shutter exclusives oh me too actually. Me like too. what was that what was that other one um uh was it cold flesh oh yeah oh, it was like cold, cold flesh cold skin cold skin cold fish something like that yeah yeah yeah, yeah. the one what about the mer, mer people yeah that was good yeah <laughs> um this this is a this is another great one and uh with that uh let's just move on to the spoilers oh but wait before we do just want to warn you look it's an indie film it's about a witch there's a baby <laughs> draw your own conclusion yes <laughs> now we will go to the spoilers dies okay <laughs> and not only does it die she cooks and eats it yeah and you watch this Ash, there's there's an entire extended sequence sequence of her drowning her baby deciding realizing that she drowned her baby because she was high at the time yeah uh cooking her baby and eating her baby because earlier in the movie uh the townspeople took away her goats which was her main source of food and, yeah. and nourishment um, and, uh, then progressively, like, s decaying after this yeah. happens. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, one of the things, okay, you, you know how we said that we're mostly observing her? Yeah. There are some critical moments where that changes, but that mm -hmm. be kind of becomes part of, of spoilers. Yeah. Um, because that's where like a lot of really gruesome shit happens. Which we are in the spoilers now. So yeah, so we can talk about <laughs> it. Um one of the first one of the first things that happens is that her mother, when she's like a little girl and her mother's taking her back to like the house, her mother comes down with the black plague. Yep. And it's established that her mother is seen by the rest of the town nearby as a witch because there's yeah. literally a point where they show up at their door with like burning torches like the fucking KKK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it, it, it is one of the kind of one of those moments where you find yourself going like, oh, I guess these kind of lynchings always take this form. People yeah. wear masks, they bring <laughs> yep. fire, you know. Yep. Like, and this is not even an American movie. So like, I don't think that like imagery was intentional one to one. They just happened to be the same imagery. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I don't, because I, I, look, there is nothing about this movie that says, oh, we better make this appeal to American audience. No, like, no. No, under no circumstances does any of that shit happen. One of the most disturbing, one, a really super disturbing thing that happens early on is that the, the little girl, when she's a little girl, meaning like 13, yeah. um, she has her first period. And when the mother discovers this, she starts sniffing around. Yeah. And then, like, gets her in the bed with her. By the way, she's dying of Black Plague. At yeah, this, so at she's this covered point. in boils yeah, and shit. Yeah, she's got, oh. Mm. And then she just starts, like, fingering her and, like, bringing the blood up to her and nose. Licking and licking like, it. <laughs> yeah, and uh. you're just like, whoa! 
Oh, damn. That's what that's one of the first th- it, that, that that it takes a while to get to that point because the opening is about like 30 minutes. But when it gets to that, you're like, "Okay, so this is not this may be a slow movie, but it's sure going to still fucking shock me." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And unlike unlike The Witch, um which when it did like we crazy shit like that, you could tell that it was doing it with this tongue-in-cheek ghoulish like <laughs> yeah like when the fucking crow is like pecking the old yeah. woman's tit off you know like you're like <laughs> this is done absolutely soberly and seriously yes like you were just supposed to sit there and be like oh god like uh and we actually read a little bit about what the director was going for when they're making this movie and that super serious tone is super intentional yes because the idea is with this movie is that they wanted to make a movie about observing what people back in the day would have called a witch, but was most likely someone dealing with some sort of mental disorder, like a schizophrenia or something like that. Yeah, and who was an outcast on top of Or it. maybe they have a disease that makes them a little, like, crazier, but like like the Black Plague. <laughs> like, yeah. You know? And so, basically, the movie is supposed to be like, okay, so here's the person and the people that they thought were witches. Here's why they thought they were witches, because they behaved this way or whatever. And here's what it was like to be them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It goes into the accusations of homosexuality. Yeah. It goes into how the village people would treat that, yep. you know, and it's it, it it's really unflinchingly cruel. And also how they would like see the witches as doing shit like cursing them yeah like there's an entire sequence which after the main character is flat out raped raped by a yeah. member from town um yeah she while, while another woman helps it happen. yeah 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 and pretends to be her friend uh for yeah. a good portion of the movie until this happens because apparently she just wanted to have the yep. w- witch raped you're like yep. whoa so then in order to get back at the town she takes a dead rat puts it in the in the beginning of their water supply, their creek that they drink from. Yeah, yeah. And then shits it and pisses into the water so that the water is now infected with disease. And if you yep. know anything about the Black Plague, one of the main sources of Black Plague was fucking rats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the she, fleas that were on the rats. So this ends up resulting it, yeah. in like a max mass fucking like um, murder of everyone in town and like there's huge burnings of like the bodies. Yeah. <laughs> including some of the people that wronged her. Um, and so, and you look at that and you go like, okay, that was actually like a very like real thing that she just did that could actually happen. Yeah. But yeah. you could totally see how metaphorically that comes across like a that's, curse. That, yeah. That's, that's a witch curse. Yep. You know? And I thought that was really <laughs> cool because I had never considered that as a possibility for how that could happen. Yeah. I was always just like, well, that seems like a weird thing to blame it on. And then you realize, oh wait, maybe this is people putting two and two together and getting Five. Yeah. But like, there's actually a connection. They just didn't understand what bacteria was. And the other thing, what I really like about this is up, up until this point, when she does this, you're still kind of on her side because this yeah. townspeople are fucking awful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, how, how to put it? It's not until the baby dies oh, that you really find yourself going, what are are you doing? I mean, in her defense, she's high off her mind because she ate a mushroom because she was starving. Starving to death, yeah. <laughs> and and she had no idea the mushroom was going to make yeah. her see shit. And, and they, she would have no idea what hallucinogenic yeah, drugs are. Yeah, she had are. no way to know what hallucinogens were. And more importantly, she's already a little unbalanced because she hears the voices uh, voices in the woods like calling yeah. to her like like of her dead mother and shit so she's obviously got like she's something obviously like schizotypal and her mom obviously had the same thing and she inherited it because her mom would often just be randomly talking to the woods yeah and when the and when the mother does it you don't hear the voices but no. when she hears yep. it you do absolutely yeah which i thought was a good touch yeah it was a great touch um, uh, and the other thing that you can also tell, like, oh, the town people think they're weird because both mothers have children, but there doesn't seem to be, like, a male a, around. A, yeah, a father. Now, we get a possible explanation for why she has a kid later on in the movie when her 
friend talks about people coming from the woods and raping uh, lone women that are living on their own. Yeah. And now, well, he, when she says it, she says it in a very bigoted way, talking about the Jews. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, if you, yeah that that's another thing that comes <laughs> yeah. up. You know, that's another thing. The hatred of the Jew yeah. is part <laughs> yeah. of the hatred of witchcraft because in, in Europe. Jewish people, much like the Romani, were considered to be these evil yeah. fucking witches, kind of like pagan people. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Um, and so, like, you get this one possible explanation for why both her mom and she had a kid. Someone might have come in, in the middle of the night and raped her because that's a thing that happened in the Middle Ages. So. Yeah. And an, an, another possibility is that the rape in the story is actually how she became pregnant, but it's not told in sequence. Yeah, I have heard this theory for this movie that the movie is not necessarily linear, linear and that we're seeing it in this weird distorted uh, time frame, like a Pulp Fiction-y kind of like out of order thing because she's not stable. So this is how she's experiencing it, but... <laughs> yeah, because you'll notice that... You know, well, the thing that really lends credence to that idea is that there are a lot of key moments where she just doesn't have her baby. And this is before the baby dies. Yeah, that's a good she point. She yeah. just doesn't have it. And so you're like, wait, are you just going to leave your kid in the house? Yeah. Wait, what's going on? There's you definitely know? an argument for it. I'm not yeah, sure. I'm yeah. not sure how I feel about that one way or another, but it is, if it were to be confirmed by the director, I would not be disappointed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, <laughs> I would be like, okay, that makes sense. I, I assume that it's a, I, the way it came across is I assume that it was a possibility, but that it's deliberately mysterious yeah. because that's not really the, the important thing is the, not necessarily the uh, sequence of events so much as the connections that she has made. Yeah. And it you also know. kind of like also explains like a little bit of if it's a rape baby. <laughs> yeah, my, Which, why she might be willing to drown it. Yeah. Well, if, if all signs point to that and she's seeing it in this weird linear, non-linear time frame, then it would also explain why she might drown it like you said yeah. especially in a super high state in which she's not herself because... yeah when she's really <laughs> out of it you know like it, and uh, i find myself going like i don't know what strain of psilocybin is but i think maybe you want to keep that to yourself yeah i uh i don't need baby killing psychedelics oh. Oh. i don't know all we no. know is that it was it was some sort of mushroom and it was covered in maggots, maggots. when she bought when she found yeah, it. So. so don't don't eat mushrooms. Got maggots on kids. So it if it was covered me. in maggots, I'm assuming it was also uh, born out of shit. Well, well, the psychedelic <laughs> yeah, mushrooms exactly. are exactly you know? like, exactly. I think that was part of our indication of what type of mushroom it was before she ate it. Yeah, um, that's the other thing. I think it does have some really good visual storytelling because oh, even though there isn't a lot of dialogue, you do get what's happening. Yeah, you're never lost. Mm. You know and you may, it's weird because you're not bored. No. You're not bored, but you might fall asleep just because. It's slow. It's slow. Yeah. You know? <laughs> like there are a lot of scenes where it's just, we're doing like a long, la long, like panoramic plan pan and someone's playing the devil's note. On yeah. Like, an old instrument, yep. you know, and you're just like, oh. Like the uh, drowning of the baby sequence feels like that's like a 10 minute sequence in and of itself. Oh, I know. I guarantee like... it's only, I guarantee it's only like a minute and a half. Yeah, it, it just feels like that 10. long. Yeah. Yeah. It feels like 10 because you're, you, it's, it's, it's so well done too. It's stretching that tension so far because you see her going into the water, you hear the baby crying and it's like a shot from behind her. Yeah, yeah. And then it's a single shot too. And then slowly you hear the baby's crying stop as she's lowering her arms. And yeah, yeah, there's that little quiet. <laughs> yeah, 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 oh, damn. And it like holds on that for like a good long while yeah. before she gets in the water herself and you're just like, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they, they this director makes you <laughs> sit with it. He yeah. makes you sit with everything and that's what the, what makes a great movie. And I definitely, everything that he said that he was going for definitely I feel like comes across really well. Like you, you A, feel really bad for someone who would have had a mental disorder like this in the Middle Ages in which no, no one had any idea what that would be. Yeah. Uh, you hate people because when people don't understand something, they automatically want to destroy it. Yep. <laughs> which which is what escalates the situation in the first place. Um, and you, um, you, you kind of feel good that you don't live in the Middle Ages. Yeah. <laughs> Even though things glad. aren't necessarily peachy now, they're certainly better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I certainly don't. There's certain, certain things I don't have to worry about <laughs> as much. 
you know, the plague being really key among them. Yeah. You know? Ooh, yeah. Not a pleasant way to go. It's also heavily implied that she catches either the plague or something else over the course of the story. There's multiple yeah. places where she could have caught it. Like when she kills the rat, like I got the impression that she ate a little bit of it before she put it because it had like little chunks sticking out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When she put it in the uh, thing. Yeah, so she, she might have contracted, you know, Black Plague. She also point. may have contracted something from eating the baby because cannibalism is not very it's healthy. Not good for you. Also, uh, when she goes into the creek to drown the baby, we don't know if that's the same creek that she put the rat in, so. Yeah, 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 so who knows, man? A, eating the baby she drowned in there, and B, going into the creek herself might have also caught her. Caught yeah, her. yeah, there, there are a lot of possible yeah. vectors, so the idea that she's also, like, dying of plague might all, like, because like by the sense. end of the movie, like her eyes are all cataracts. Like it's like yeah. she's like like she's and she's not doing it. right. She's like shaking all the time, which is part could partially also be like like starvation because she hasn't been eaten for weeks. Yeah. So yeah, only got only got baby. Yep. Get in my belly, baby. Yep. You know, like oh geez. Well, uh, that's the movie. Feel good movie of the summer. <laughs> So, where can they find you, man? They can find me at the Horgu on Twitter, on Twitch, on YouTube, on Facebook. Just look up the Horgu or Blood Spired Cinema, and I should be there. And you can find me on Twitter, on Instagram, and of course, I stream here on YouTube every Thursday at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and again on Sunday, 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 12 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So it's a lot of times. It's a lot of times. Uh, that's why we got this thing up here that just <laughs> fucking tells you. And we hope to see you there. We talk about all sorts of groovy things like history, witchcraft, sometimes RPG, the devil's games. Yes. You know? Satan. Satan. And uh until and, oh oh and we got the, and we got the Patreon. Oh that's right, we got a Patreon. Yeah. So if you want to kick in a buck to help us continue to do this, please, 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 please. Every little bit helps. Every little bit helps, like you wouldn't fucking believe. And we appreciate every single dollar. Um so until next time, Ave Satanus, Disco Inferno, and remember to keep watching fucked up movies. And this is definitely one of them. <laughs>